what's up y'all this shit girl go mouth so i'm coming to show y'all what i got my how i got my hair braided for the month of april okay so um oh yeah my glad i can't see y'all if i don't take my glass off but that glare bother me girl so anyway um listen i don't have my hair done for two weeks i'm just gonna have to tell you like it is all right <laughs> I tried to come to you guys when I first first got my hair done, but I was feeling some type of way, okay? It, it was so much going on in my brain. I don't know sometimes. I don't even know what I be thinking half the time when I be going through things like depression and dealing with a lot of the things that I deal with in mentally because ugh, it's a lot. So I have to come down sometimes and, you know come back to reality <laughs> and, and, and tell myself everything's gonna be all right okay everything's gonna be all right hallelujah so anyway y'all um i wasn't able to record when i first first got my hair done because um you know i was going through some things i still be going through some things so i, I just want to tell you guys this never judge a book by its cover just because somebody's smiling sometimes you know it don't always necessarily mean they happy. sometimes a smile can be covering up the way you know a lot of pain on the inside a lot of a lot of tension a lot of hurt you know just just, just i'm just saying y'all you know your girl doing good but just saying sometimes anyway y'all i did manage to get a clip of um my hair on the very first day i just ain't feel like saying nothing so i'm going to insert that clip um in this video to let you guys know what my hair uh looked like on the very first day versus two weeks later And um, I also want to give a shout out to um, Goldbar from GoldenCreations.web.com for these fabulous bonnets that she um, she made for me. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that you know this is the blue and black bonnet, and I think girl she sold out if you ain't got it by now. You missed it, but guess what? She still has it available in red and black, and it is very beautiful. So you can um, look and in the description box below and go ahead and log on to GoldenCreations.web.com because honey she is fabulous okay anyways um this is how i keep my hair tied up at night i have my bonnet on uh to you know because it's just too much yeah I, I got to have that large size bonnets now that i've been making a large size bonnets they seem like the only bonnets that i really like i don't really like the small ones unless it just really ain't you know if you got short hair then small bonnets for you but anyway not small a regular size they're not small but they regular size they hold the average amount of hair anyway look at check the description box below i'm sold out of most things i'm getting ready to start back making them again so y'all support a sister thank you i ain't even got to tell y'all that because y'all be supporting me 100 some of y'all just oh yes hallelujah thank you all of y'all everybody <laughs> let me hush so i'm gonna take this off i'm just showing you guys this is how i keep my hair um tied up at night so uh as you guys can see i got the afro puff 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 going on Afro puff so and I'm going to show you what it looks like now it has been in for two whole weeks honey I keep it wrapped up tied up and tangled up in the lot okay I keep it wrapped up tied up okay so this is what it's looking like now I got me some fish bones, y'all. I told y'all I was going to give me some fish bones. Told y'all like I make a jump like this. Hey. So, this is what I got. Everybody like my hair. They say, girl, y'all so cute, girl. Oh, damn it. So, um, I'm loving it. Yes, yeah, so. This is my hairdo for the month of April, y'all. So, um, whenever I go to get my hair braided, it's cheaper to get my, well, I, I like 
it is cheaper but at the same time that's what i want i'd rather not get extensions in my hair like added hair into this because i it causes too much additional tension if your if your braid already braid tight if you put weave in it's gonna be even tighter because you got to grip it to a point that the, you know the weave ain't gonna slide out or whatever so um i like and it's not good for your edges at all all of that extensions and stuff is not good for your edges okay so if you want to get your hair braided go to somebody that's gentle who don't be pulling out your hair and won't put all that weave in unless you just want the weave you need the weave get the weave i don't care just tell her don't do it too tight okay okay so anyways um yeah so if when you see my hair this is my hair okay but this is not my hair this is just a drawstring ponytail that i put up here and with some rubber bands not rubber bands hair pins i put some hair pins in and i drawstring it around wrap it around wrench around wrench it off put the little cones in there and stuff and and that's it y'all i put the big long bobby pins in there and i haven't touched it in Two weeks, y'all. Y'all listen here. Fertilizer Friday is coming back because, you know, I know I got a lot of... Girl, stop kidding me. You know, I got a lot of y'all that got the virgin hair fertilizer and y'all just be waiting on us. So, okay, so virgin hair fertilizer will be this week and I probably, I most likely would be using Wild Grow. I don't know because, you know, I don't know. Oh, look, I don't know. I ain't going to say nothing till it, till, it, till it happens. So, I might be using my Wild Grow. But either way, no matter what I use, if you got... What you got, you got your virgin hair fertilizer, or you got your wild grow, or you got your, um, if you ain't doing either or, you can do your mo moisturize your hair that day, fine, you know, whatever you feel like you want to do, honey, but, um, I ain't gonna know well. I just had to take a little break, okay, y'all? I'm so sorry for the ones who've been waiting on me, you know, but anyways, I'm gonna just give y'all a little, little turnaround and show y'all what I'm working on. And I love, love, love my hair. Hopefully, y'all can get a good view. Hopefully, my kitchen ain't laughing. Y'all ain't laughing at me. And, anyways, if y'all see any white stuff in my ponytail, y'all, do y'all see any white stuff in my hair? Because I ain't got some paint in my hair. Let me tell y'all how trifling y'all Montgomery, Alabama folks is. Is, is trifling a good word? No, I wouldn't say trifling. Uh, how, whatever the word is, find a word for me, somebody. But let me tell you the story. So, Y'all know I've been around here painting and whatnot and everything and so forth and so on. I've been around this house painting and stuff. So, one of them days I had painted for, by accident and I didn't have on my paint bonnet, okay? I didn't have that on. So, I done walked up under the cabinet and it touched the back of my ponytail. I didn't even much know. It was like a big blob of paint dried up in my ponytail. I didn't see it. I didn't know it was there. Girl. How about I went out, had my little cute clothes on, thinking I was all in a bag of tater chips and stuff. How about I got this big old blob of paint in the back of my hair? And guess what? Ain't nobody tell me, girl, you got paint in the back of your hair. What's that in the back of your hair? Ain't nobody say nothing. They just let me walk around looking all cute with paint in the back of my head. And I ain't talking about a little bit. I'm talking about like somebody said, bow, girl, you got paint. Nobody ain't tell me nothing. Alabama, come on. What's good? Why y'all ain't tell me? Help us with the eye. When you see somebody with something like that and you think it's a flaw, don't just be looking at me like, mm -hmm. I want you to stop me and say, excuse me, your zipper down. Excuse me. You got paint in the back of your head, girl. What's that in the back of your head? Something got to give. You need to get. You need to let that stuff go. Cut it out. Do something. Watch it. Something. But anyways, y'all. So ain't nobody tell me, girl, how about I went to Scooby parent-teacher conference the other day to put paint all up in my head. And I'm talking about and I guess when I realized it, when I was recording the video for y'all and I had turned around and then I played it back at my camera and then the video popped up, uh, well, not the video, I seen white stuff in the back of my head. I was like, what is that? Girl, big old blob of paint. Not just one. It was like here, block, block, block. Like, like I had just got my ponytail and just spread across the paint like that. And all day, dudes was trying to holler in everything all up at the dollar store, girl. With a big old blob of paint in the back of my head. Girl, boy, bad. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Like, so, I'm just here to tell you guys, if y'all see somebody that got a flaw or something that might, might look like something they didn't do on purpose, they accidentally did, you know, be like, hey, hey, excuse me, come here. Do you know you got something in the back of your hair that look like paint? You know, what is that? And then I'm going to be like, oh, for real? Oh, my God. You know. 
Man, y'all put sister out, okay? Don't just let people go around looking like that. <laughs> let her sister know, okay? Don't just be letting us walk around looking all any kind of way. Well, I don't care if you let me walk around looking any kind of way, but if it look like, because sometimes I just go into Walmart, I could go in my paint clothes with my hair sticking up or whatever it is, what it is. But if I look like I'm trying to be cute that day and I got on some cute clothes and I got on my clean, I look like I just took a good bath. Um, Say, so excuse me, ma'am, but you got something in the back of your head. Uh, your zipper down or something. So, girl. <laughs> okay, y'all. Anyways, y'all, I will just come and show y'all my hair. <laughs> but... Anyway, that is all I got to say in this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and listening to my crazy. So, I got to get out of here. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.